everyone. This is Apex Insider, and I'm your host, Mary Ann Simpson. We've changed up the format of the show just a little bit, taking our cameras on the road and interviewing our guests in their natural environment in a bid to get you even closer to the airline passenger experience. This week, we're at Pierre Trudeau Airport in Montreal, which is the hub of Canadian Leisure Airline and Apex member, Air Transat. We'll be speaking with Dave Bourdage, who is the VP of In-Flight Services and Customer Experience for the airline. He'll be talking to us a little bit about the airline's approach to passenger experience, their plans for growth, and how the Airbus A321LR fits perfectly into both. So hi Dave, how's it going today? Excellent, thank you very much. Good, thank you so much for having us here. It's a pleasure to have you here at Air Transat. Awesome, awesome. So Dave, you are actually, in addition to being VP of In-Flight Services and Customer Experience for Air Transat, uh, a pilot. Absolutely. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you transitioned from initially being a pilot into the role that you are now? Yeah, uh, my, I come from a family of entrepreneurs. Uh, we own commercial real estate and I wanted to be a pilot since I was a little kid. Uh, it was a perfect marriage of both. Uh, uh, areas of expertise, if you want to put it that way. So I was given a chance to grow as a pilot to to get experience, uh, both uh, in the corporate world and here at the airline. Uh, in that time, I was also given different responsibilities, uh, be it in the pilot training, uh, flight standards, uh, safety, uh, security, and the quality assurance. And then that role grew into this um, opportunity where I was able to come and manage in-flight service and customer experience. Uh, I now oversee uh, PSS, central baggage, and obviously uh, in-flight services, uh, cabin training, commissary and catering on top of the call center and seat selection. So it's the entire uh, touch point, all the touch points from a customer experience uh, at the airline uh, now report to me. So that's, that's incredible. <laughs> the full 360 degree view of the passenger experience. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, so fleet transformation is a really big theme right now mm -hmm. at Air Transat. Uh, can we unpack that topic a little bit, uh, beginning with the delivery of your very first A321LR? We're absolutely delighted to have the airplane here. Uh, I think it's a game changer for us. Uh, obviously, as we move uh, forward uh, with the fleet, it's going to bring a lot of benefits to both the passengers and the airline itself. Um, as you know, uh, we are going to be uh, receiving uh, a total of 17 brand new 321s, both a, with a mixture of LRs and uh, straight NEOs. Mm -hmm. And by 2022, the fleet will be completely an Airbus fleet, compromising 330s and 321s. Some CEOs, some NEOs, and some LRs. Excellent. And what is the sort of delivery schedule for these aircraft? Would you say it's aggressive? Uh, we're trying to keep it as aggressive as possible. We're working closely with both uh, the lessor uh, and the manufacturer to make sure that we're on track and they're helping us tremendously keep to meet those schedule and those demands. We are uh, retiring uh, uh, the Airbus 310 uh, from the fleet so it's a, and also the 737. So we want to keep the pace, a rapid pace, uh, which will bring positive changes for both, like I said, uh, the passengers and uh, for the company itself. Okay, and we talked a little bit about crew commonality. Yes. Um, why is that so important and, and sort of uh, bringing the fleet more into the same aircraft uh, type? Uh, absolutely. From a, from a pilot perspective, from a, a crew management perspective, uh, one of the benefits of the Airbus fleet, as you know, is the fact that with the common uh, crew qualification from Airbus, uh, we'll be able to uh, start using the benefits of uh, multi-fleet flying. So our pilots will be able to operate for example, on the flight from uh, Montreal to Paris on the 330, mm -hmm. the next day come back to Quebec City on an LR, and maybe the following day go down to Punta Cana and come back to Montreal on the CEO. So we'll have a lot of flexibility when it comes to rostering the crews, uh, shorter training, so we're making full use and, and seeing, using the benefits of the crew uh, um, cockpit commonality uh, in the fleet from Airbus. Very efficient. Absolutely. Cool. <laughs> Um, now, talking about uh, cockpit commonality is one thing, but we also sort of want to have a, a common passenger experience when yes. we have different types of aircraft, especially as some are leaving a fleet and some are entering a fleet. So how are you working to, uh, to sort of, uh, I guess, extend that shiny new passenger experience of the A321LR across the, uh, the rest of the fleet as well? Basically, what we did was a mixture of both. We, we looked at the product that we currently have on the 330, with the experience that we have for the passengers, both in economy and in premium economy or club, our club section. And what we decided to do was enhance the club by having new seats that are produced by, uh, by Zim, 
uh, have those seats, the same thing in economy, have those seats made available. What we will do with those new seats is eventually they will be installed on the 330 fleet as well. Mm -hmm. The ones for the LRs uh, are also going to be Zim seats. They will have a seat back uh, IFE, uh, wider seat, a cabin experience that's going to be enhanced. Uh, we're looking forward to a little bit more uh, personal space in the aircraft. It's obviously a, an airplane that's going to be very quiet. It's extremely fuel efficient, good for the environment. So a good way to start your vacation, good way to go and visit friends and families when, you, when you're traveling. So really what we want to do is use this new cabin and, and basically upgrade the 330s as we move along, uh, as we move forward. Okay, and you talked about IFE there. Mm -hmm. um, I know that the IFE supplier for the A330, which I flew over here on, is, uh, is an Apex member, and I thought the experience was just fantastic. So uh, can you talk about maybe that supplier? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we have a great relationship. The product we have currently on board is Rave. Uh, we're, we're extremely happy with the product. Mm -hmm. uh, that product will also be installed on the 321s, uh, the LRs. Uh, the CEO fleet will have uh, in-flight entertainment for the club section. All the airplanes, all the three twins will have a club section with uh, in-flight entertainment. The, uh, the airplanes that are dedicated to Europe will have the seat back. The ones that are going down south will have a, a section um, with, basically the economy sections will not have the seat back entertainment. However, we will have a streaming uh, system and we just uh, signed a commercial agreement with the folks from uh, Blue Box and we're extremely happy to have them uh, join, uh, join us and uh, be able to deliver a great product to the passengers as well on board. So the planes that are gonna be d dedicated to flying down south are going to be equipped with, like I said, rave system for uh, the club section and streaming from uh, Blue Box in the back. Awesome, awesome. Um, okay, quickly, let's talk about food as well. I know um, I really enjoyed my in-flight meal on the way over, and it's uh, the result of a special collaboration that's been ongoing mm -hmm. between Air Transat and uh, Daniel Vizina. So Correct. can you just talk a bit about that special uh, chef select menu? Yes, absolutely. Uh, we're, we're thrilled to have both. Uh, the, well, Chef Vizina, uh, the, the, the partnership that we developed with him uh, in the last couple of years is great. He's extremely uh, involved, hands-on uh, kind of chef. He wants to make sure that his name, his product is well represented on board the aircraft, uh, has a lot of interest, is, is working constantly with us uh, to improve the product that is made available to the passengers, both in club and we also make it available for purchase in economy as well. So we're, uh, it's, it's great, uh, we're getting very positive feedback uh, from the customers, from the passengers, they seem to really enjoy it. Uh, and we feel that it really enhanced the, the whole passenger experience from, uh, uh, from a food standpoint. From a commercial perspective, is that uh, option for economy passengers to upgrade to the Chef Select menu, um, you know, is, is it a commercial thing or is it more just an extra service for those people who want it? Is, is, it, is it a profitable, I guess, program? It is, it is a profitable program okay. for us. Uh, it's something that we've put in place uh, because we want it really to enhance uh, the product. Uh, some people benefit from either our Option Plus or uh, more leg room in the airplane. Uh, on, some, on some routes, passengers may not have access to club because it's full. On some certain specific routes, we have a lot of demand for club. Um, so the passengers can have purchase a seat, make a seat selection, increase their, uh, their, uh, their journey or make it more enjoyable by having on top of the extra leg room and all the perks that come with the Option Plus a uh, visiting meal as well. Wicked. Okay. And then last but not least, um, our audience is obviously very interested in uh, learning if there's uh, anything, any news to announce, I guess, about your plans for connectivity across the fleet in the future. Yes, uh, it's something that we're working on. Uh, we're talking with different vendors right now. Uh, the good news is this, uh, the airplanes, the brand new uh, 321s that are coming from, uh, from Hamburg are gonna be provisioned for connectivity. We're just trying to find the right partner uh, to make this happen in the future, so you have to stay tuned for uh, future announcements. Well, that's all we've got for this episode of Apex Insider. A huge thank you to Air Transat for having us on site here today in Montreal. Thank you also to our sponsor, Blue Box Aviation, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure you visit www.apex.aero to learn more about the Airline Passenger Experience Association. You can also follow us on Twitter and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more great aviation videos. See you next time.